back to the channel guys. Today I have a special video in the making. I've got my friend Babang. <laughs> I have to jump in it like you know. <laughs> We're here today to test out the differences between FPV drones and normal drones like the one I'm flying. Babang here is a crazy good FPV pilot. He does it professionally for businesses. He also flies normal drones. And we're just gonna look at the differences, like you saw in the intro, the differences between the slow, cinematic kind of flying and the crazy acrobatic and just epic madness that is FPV flying. So, let's get to it. I do have uh, extra goggles if you, if you want to. You wanna watch? Yeah. If I start watching his flying through the goggles, I'll fall over. That's what happened that time I tried. <laughs> and he wasn't even flying, it was a pre-recorded video and I fell over. <laughs> no, you won't. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so this is a 5 inch and we're using those uh, batteries compared to uh, regular Mavic. And the regular Mavic will give you about 20 to 30, I mean they say 30 minutes. Those guys, you have 5 minutes top. <laughs> <laughs> And this guy will go about from zero to hundred. Super fast. <laughs> the max speed of my Mavic 3 is, I think, 75 kilometers an hour. Perfect this, condition. In perfect conditions. I have never, like, I, I tried it recently, and I got like 67 kilometers an hour, and it felt like it was going crazy fast, but I had no control over it. So I stopped. And this guy is flying way above 100 kilometers an hour. Yeah, like if you're going 100, we are cruising. <laughs> <laughs> cruising at 100. You're cruising at 100. <laughs> uh, it's gone. Yeah. It's gone. <laughs> so where are you now? Um, cruising the wave. You're cruising at 100. with Pabang when he was flying if he lets go of the controllers or anything the drone drops when this is in the air if I let go of the controller and go grab a coffee it would just stay there waiting for me <laughs> until I'm back and if I don't come back until it's empty it will fly back to me and tell me what the fuck are you doing like this this drone is packed with sensors it tells me like every time I fly over a wave it tells me uh, like you're two meters away from the ocean you're two meters away from the ocean you have to try if you want to crash this thing. Now, there's another thing with FPV as well, is that it doesn't matter how, wherever I'm flying, you have to be straight um, line of sight. Babai is gonna fly up to the point, I'm showing you right now, and I got goggles, so I can see what he's seeing. I'm gonna try to stand on my feet this time around. Yeah. But I can't promise anything. <laughs> I'm ready when you are. are. We did a whole flight and I didn't press record, so now we gotta do another flight. We have to do another one. Wobbling back and forth with my. <laughs> it happened a few times that I sent the drone somewhere, and when I got back, the battery of the GoPro died. Should so we... basically, what he's saying is that when flying FPV, you're a lot more dependent on yourself. Like you have to record everything, you have to set everything in mo like. Uh, the settings before you start flying, you have to make sure the drone is okay, your GoPro is okay. But when you take a normal Mavic drone like I'm flying, you just need to set it up in the air and 
you can control everything from you like the camera the flight everything so it's easier to fly a Mavic drone but like the payoff is also different like when you fly an FPV drone you can capture amazing footage that you never capture with a Mavic 3 drone or any like normal drone like this one of the reasons why a DJI or a normal drone is stable is because of this thing which is a built-in stabilizer on the drone I've seen people put a Ronin RS2 on an FPV drone, a huge yeah, drone. Yeah. So you can do the same thing, but it's still, then you have but an you FPV get... drone, a camera and a stabilizer connected together. Pretty epic. But again, then you're combining different parts again to make it possible. As with this thing, you just buy it, it's plug and play, really. Yeah, plug and play. Charging, so, yeah, plug and play. Yeah. Also, another thing is that flying a normal consumer drone, you don't need skill. You really don't. Like, the first time I flew my Mavic Pro Platinum, it was easy. Filming great shots need takes skill, but flying the drone, no. Also, another thing that I just realized, this drone is not just a video camera. Like, you won't pick up a FPV drone and fly out to the top and start taking a shit ton of photos. Yeah, like you're taking, that's a really good composition. That's yeah. a really good one. So I'm just sitting here, standing here. Look at this. Composing a photo. <laughs> Chilling. Look at this. Capturing amazing photos while standing here talking to this guy and it's been in the air for like 15 well, minutes I think <laughs> you still have like 10 minutes to go. Yeah, and I can I Like and I'm doing multiple exposures right now so that I can stack them in Lightroom and get a HDR image. I did a burst Image right now so that I can try out noise stacking just in case so like this is a high-end camera. It's like flying a uh, Sony A7 III, no, A7. Yeah. <laughs> God damn. I'm really enjoying this. So before we end today's video, I just wanted to talk a little bit about what makes the difference between a normal drone or an FPV drone. And as you saw in the video, like the main difference is the, the way you fly it. Another huge difference is just how easy it is to fly most normal drones like the high-end consumer drones or the cheap Mavic minis or like whatever it's really easy you open a box you put in the battery you turn on the drone and you fly it but if you want to fly a real FPV drone you actually have to build it like you can buy the DJI FPV drone but if you ask Babang he will tell you that he told me he wouldn't talk to me if I bought one of those because like the possibilities the the strength the the durability of an FPV drone is so crazy that if you buy a really expensive DJI FPV drone you're just setting yourself up for failure that's his words because you're too afraid of breaking it I've seen his drones crash into fences at speeds that would ruin my Mavic 3 and the DJI FPV drone like that would it would be in bits and pieces but he put, just picked it up and flew it again. So which one would I recommend that you start flying? I'm not actually sure. It, it, it all depends. If you want to put all your time into it, I really recommend getting an FPV drone. But if you just want to capture yourself hiking or do simple drone footage and photography, get a DJI drone or a Skydio or whatever. 
because as long as you want to get into FPV drones, I really recommend investing a lot of time and learning the skill from the bottom to the top, like from building to flying acrobatic to flying acrobatic and cinematic. And there's no right or wrong answer in what is the best drone. There's only the question of how much time do you want to invest in flying drones. When you know that, then you can start looking at it. FPV drones or normal drones or in Wabang's case, do both. But that's it for this video guys. Thank you so much for watching yet another video and I hope that you found out something about drones and that it helped you maybe decide if you're gonna go into flying FPV or you're just gonna enjoy flying normal drones like I am doing at the moment. And if you got this far, please consider subscribing to my channel, liking this video, leave a comment saying something about the video, say blah blah blah. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!